Welcome back, YouTubers. I'm going to use my son to do the demonstration. Okay, this is made of rubber. It's not a real gun. It's a training gun. You can get them on Amazon. They're about twenty dollars, I think, something like that. It's just a solid lump of rubber. You can drop it on the floor as many times as you want, and it's a demonstration. I was trying to do this with Lady Faith the other day, but it's a demonstration of how to take a gun off someone. Uh, so, that it's on there because I need you to be on that side. See, and I want to do it really slowly and I want to explain what I'm doing. Okay? Someone comes in, they're pointing a gun at you. Okay? Now, if he's too far away, this won't work. Okay? He's got to be close. See, if he's too far away, it's not going to work. He's got to be really close, pointing a gun at your face. Now, if he was here to kill you, you'd be dead already. Okay? So. There's no reason for him to get this close unless he's threatening you. Okay, so the simple thing to do, you've got to do two things at the same time. One, you've got to step out of the way, but he's just going to follow you with the gun. Okay, so you've got to do two things at the same time. First thing you've got to do is step out of the way and grab the gun at the same time by the barrel. Now, it can still go off. Okay, so we need to tip it upwards, grab the back of the gun. There's a problem, I can see it. And twist like this, what? Well, hang on, I haven't finished yet. Let me just let go of the gun. Okay. Because I don't want to hurt you, see. I break all his fingers if it doesn't let go. And then it's mine, you see. Go on. I can see a problem is, go on. as soon as you move out the way yeah. and you grab it, I could fire the gun. You and could. If it's a cock back, that would slice your fingers. Well, I've never grabbed hold of a gun while it's going off like that. I, I can mean, imagine it would, it would hurt. It would burn my fingers, but it'll hurt a lot less than being dead. Are you fast on okay. speeding bullets? So, the technique and is that would also putting your hand around the back of the gun and twisting it. But you're going to do that really fast. But the thing to do with the technique is to do it slowly. Okay, so you, all you're doing is that. That really hard. Okay, so you practice doing it slowly and practice doing it slowly. Get the technique right and then speed it up. You see? Yep. Exactly. You try it on me. Obviously, you need to practice this and get yourself a rubber gun from Amazon. <laughs> no, well, it worked, it worked, but it did. See, it did work. The thing is, you got it left or right handed, look, put it in your right hand. So, I want to I wanna fire it with my right hand, don't I? Because I'm right handed. Yeah, but I fire I'm going to knock left. it away and I'm going to pull it down. Yeah? Yeah. Try it on the other hand. If it's in the other hand, I've got to do uh, the opposite and I've got to pull it down that way. So it finishes up in my left hand. What if they're holding it with both hands? Try it with both hands. That would be a bit more tricky, I would imagine, to, to, to break the grip. But, I mean, the point is, it's now, it's now pointing away from me, so I'm not going to die, is it? And he's a strong lad, so I might have to in the imminent I would but suggest that in situations like that, they're so adrenaline fueled, anything's yeah. liable to happen. Yeah. Absolutely anything. All the technique is surprising it out of the hand upwards, you see, because you can rag this thing around and it can probably still keep hold of it if it's quite I... strong. But it's about breaking that grip there, breaking it there. I, um, I don't know if you remember, I had to attend. Um, a talk for security in Gibraltar oh, yes. for a guy from MI5 came. Really? Don't try yeah. to walk on a bullet. Do you remember? Um, oh. 2015 with Jim, John McIntosh Hall. What, they, you were the one giving the presentation? No, no, there was this really slick, smooth guy from MI5. He stood up and said, I'm from MI5. Um, it was around the time he when... He got fired for saying that. No, no, he was... We were all encouraged to go by the captain of the port and show willing. And the advice we were given oh, was... Oh, the time when you almost, you were laughing. Um, well, yeah, I was sitting with Molinari's and um, we were giggling a bit. Um, the advice we were given, I don't think it was the guy at MI5, but some other police officer said, don't hide behind curtains because bullets can go through them and doors and things like that. That's what we were giggling about. Naughty Molinari's, you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, you, anything can happen. If someone pulls a gun on you, yeah. absolutely anything. 
I don't think that you can prepare for those kind of eventualities, really. Yeah, can you? and as a disclaimer, you might still get shot. Okay. Oh yeah, God. <laughs> so are we going to? Go don't there? feel confident you've done Graham's yeah. course on how to avoid getting shot because I don't. Yeah, I'd say take self-defence classes. Well, Every we're bulletproof masks. Every um, scenario is different. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of an insight. But there's loads of martial artists on the, on the internet who will teach you how to do it a lot better than I can show you, for sure.